you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, we got Zero Chill Part 3. Now, we weren't entirely sure how much more content we'd entirely be getting, to be honest with you guys. We did know that there was something big coming Monday, which appears to have been Zero Chill Part 3. Now, the interesting thing about this is that it is the 30th and we're still getting content, which is exciting because last year they kind of tailed off a bit more, but I'm not entirely simple. I'm not going to like go praise Madden for this because realistically, last year's promo started on December 6th, which means we had it from the 6th all the way up until about the 28th to the 30th. So we had about 26 days of the promo. This year started on like the 17th, so we've really only had about 13 days. So no praise yet. They should, they should, realistically, to make up for it, they have to go into January for this. Promo does end January 3rd, and we do know there's more ghosts coming. So there is some other stuff coming. So... We have other stuff to look forward to. This isn't the last content drop. For them to be dropping part three now, that does mean we have a few days left or something. And I know we had the leak to Julio Jones Ghost and stuff, so there should be other stuff coming. Now, let's head into Ultimate Team. Things should be out by now. Just hit 1030. As you guys know, it is the 25 days of Poodmas. We have one day left on that. So all you got to do to enter is subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below the secret word, and your console. Once you do all those things, you're entered to win. Good luck. That covers our intro. Make sure to enter for the last few days. Now, let's head over to sets to see what entirely has been released for Zero Chill Part 3. As you can see here, we are going to see the brand new master, Zero Chill Master, Rob Gronkowski. Gronk, Mr. Gronk Spike himself. Super hyped for this, honestly. I don't know if I'll end up getting him, but the idea of having Rob Gronkowski in the game is always super cool. Let's see what the set pieces are. Cameron Jordan, Deshaun Jackson, and Eric Armstead. Now, Mutt Leaks did tweet this out, so if you guys are good at recognizing player pictures, you would have seen these already. Now, now, set works as following. Exchange zero chill Cameron Jordan to Sean Jackson and Eric Armstead to get 95 overall Rob Gronkowski and his power up item. You will be able to select one of the required players to get back in that. So Madden really, with the zero chill sets, as you guys can realize, Madden did not want us to get back three not cards. They just didn't. The other ones for the ghost, they let us do it, but for these, they've all been pick one. I don't know why they went ahead and did that. Kind of frustrating. Maybe they thought if they did that, it'd keep his price really low. I don't really know. I don't know the exact reasoning. Now, let's go see the Cameron Jordan real quick and the Deshaun R. Embrick Armstead before we go into the Rob Gronkowski. They are not up, of course. So instead, we're going to go check out the new solos because there's probably some kind of new solos. And let's just make sure there's nothing here real quick before we go into all of it. There shouldn't be. It's just Zero Chill Part 3. So, we, yeah, I'm going to get out of there. Let's head on over to play. Let's go to challenges. Let's go check out these solo challenges to go see everything that we did get. All right, so looking through these solos as we head on down, I don't know if they dropped anything, actually. But they definitely should have because we still have plenty of stars to get. There's 81 stars still here total. Plus, so that's 81 right there. Plus what appears to be 48. So we're like at 130-ish there. Plus 150. Okay, I think they did add to Snow Day, maybe. We're at 280 total. And then for training camp, another 140. So we're about 420 already. So they definitely added something, whether or not it was today. We're, I could be wrong. We either just have enough stars for the tier 18 or we're just short. My math, well, I didn't exactly do the math there, but we're definitely close. So you can pretty much go pick up your free 88 to 91 overall player at some point, whether it be today or in the next few days. We are pretty much at the end of the solo sequences. So let's go back over to sets so we can go see all the players that did release. Hopefully they're out by now. I imagine that was enough time for people to go pull them, realize that they shouldn't have bought packs, and then post them up in the auction block. So Cameron Jordan is up 264k. We know that won't be his price. He'll probably end up a little bit cheaper than that. Probably in the 180 range. Let's see his stats. So let's compare him to my Michael Strahan. So Cameron Jordan is 78 speed, 85 excel, 91 strength, 89 tackle, 96 play rec, 91 block shit, 94 power move, and 74 finesse move. So compared to Strahan, Strahan blows him out of the water. Cameron Jordan's not that athletic at his overall. He's strong. A decent tackler, great play recognition, which he seems to have on his other card too. Decent block shed, decent power, well, good power move, and really bad finesse. Now, compared to his older card, he is a slight upgrade, not, not the biggest upgrade ever. Definitely has some stats much better, but some of the, the stats are very similar. I wouldn't recommend this Cameron Jordan as your left end, unless you're a Saints fan. In that case, if you have a Saints team, team will probably be very, very good on that team. So let's go over to Deshaun Jackson, 93 overall wide receiver for the Philadelphia Eagles. So let's go over. 92 speed. Now, that's kind of upsetting. Let's compare him to a guy more speed, like Tyreek Hill. He's a little too slow to be compared to Tyreek Hill, though, which kind of sucks. But let's see. He's catching, just catching to 91, which is great. Catching traffic is 85, which is decent. 88 spec catch is great. 85 short route running is decent. 88 medium route running is really good. 93 deep route running is really good. So he kind of, he's kind of like if you take some speed off Tyreek Hill and add a little better route running and catching. So, see, I'm not a fan of this card. If 
If I'm going to get speed, I want speed. I don't care about everything else. Like, Tyree Kill, the reason I have him, he's not meant to make crazy catch for me. He's meant to catch the ball and run. That's it. That's all he's supposed to do. Now, if I want a guy that catches, you get a guy like, well, Randy Moss has speed, so it's even hard to use him as an example. But I want a guy that catches, maybe he has not the most speed, but he has the catching, right? But he kind of, Deshaun Jackson's like, he wants to be fast, but not that fast, but he also wants to catch, but can't really catch. So he's going to, I think he's going to be a weird card to own. He's going to be somewhere oddly in the middle. I don't really recommend him. Now let's go over to the last card. Then we'll go check out Rob Gronkowski right after that. Once we go over, I want to give it a little bit of time for him to be on the block. Eric Armstead, 92 defensive tackle. 74 speed, 83 excel, 89 strength, 90 tackle, 87 play rec, 88 block, 90 power move, 74 finesse move. Honestly, this card's not too bad. Compare him to my Ed Oliver, which isn't he's not really great either. He's not as athletic. He's kind of on the slower side, but he's a defensive tackle. Good strength, good, great tackle, great play rec. Pretty good block shed, pretty good finesse move. So overall, uh, Arik Arik Armstead is going to be a deep, good run stuffer, good pass rusher, decent athleticism. Going to be a well-rounded defensive tackle. Let's go check out Rob Gronkowski. That should be pretty interesting to see what we're working with with Gronk. You guys probably, you might have seen the stats from the A page. I'm blocked by the A page, so I don't really get to see all this stuff. So it is what it is. So let's type in Gronk. We'll probably get given like three or four of his bronze brothers if they have him up on Madden. Let's find out. No, we didn't. All right, that's surprising. A lot of power-ups for him, though. So there we go. 95 overall tight end, Rob Gronkowski. 86 speed. Six foot six, by the way. He's huge. 86 speed. 87 strength. 93 catching. 94 catching traffic. The word is Grinch. Comment down below the word Grinch. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And comment your console. Once you build this thing, you're to win. Good luck. I did tweet out on Twitter before saying that it kind of sucks that Rob Gronkowski comes out only because they made Tony Gonzalez so ridiculous that there's no way in hell he'd be replaceable. Tony Gonzalez, no way. He was given too much speed, too much route running, too much catching traffic, and Gronk's never been known in Madden for route running or speed. His speed's decent. Same speed as Kittle. His catching is really good, and his route running is decent. His run blocking is still not up to par. See, if his run block was like an 88, I would say this is one of the best tight ends in the game, but he can't really run block, so he's purely more of a receiving tight end. That's kind of on the slower side at this point in Madden, with great catching, although I don't really play red zone box out tight end games. And his route running is decent at best. He's going he's gonna to feel kind of clunky, in my opinion. Compared to Tony G, Tony G is way faster. Well, not way faster. Two plus speed. If you power up Gronk, it's going to be one less speed. But Tony Gonzalez, I don't know. He feels very quick to me. Maybe it's the Excel. Let's see the Excel. 85, 89 Excel. That's what it is. His Excel is really fast. He picks up speed really quick. He's a lot quicker, in my opinion. Strength, Gronk hasn't beat entirely. And I'll give I'll give that to Gronk. Gronk's going to be a better open field runner, 100%. Besides the carry, but I know Gronk's gonna have like a really good stiff arm. Yeah, 90 stiff arm. He's probably gonna have yeah impact block and probably a good truck too. Gronk's gonna be a better power runner with the ball in his hands. And then overall, catching wise, Gonzalez. Come on, Gonzalez, show up. Well, catching wise, Gonzalez is gonna probably beat him, or it's gonna be at least close, as you can see right here. Catching is very close. Okay, catching is kind of similar. Powered up, Gronk's gonna beat him slightly in catching, but the route running and the quickness makes the difference. 93 short route running, 92 medium route running. He ru like wide receiver routes. I he freezes up guys, which is a tight end. Usually, the advantage you have with them is usually counteracted by they can't route, uh, run routes. Gonzalez can run routes. He's very glitchy, and like I said, his speed and acceleration makes a difference. I'd rather have Tony Gonzalez, but Gronk don't sleep on Gronk. He's still a great card. I just rather have my Gonzalez. Now let's go check the store real quick, see if anything else came out. Although I think that pretty much does wrap up the majority of the drop. Yep, zero chip packs, same as usual. So guys, that's pretty much it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the new drop. We should be seeing Ghost in the next few days. Like I said, we should be getting some kind of Julio or something because that was leaked. So expect that. I also heard about Daniel Jones. I don't know if that's factual or not. Or Saquon. I don't know how true that is, but I did hear about that. But guys, that's about it for the video. Remember to enter the 25 days of food miss. All you gotta do is enter, subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below the secret word you heard at some point in the video, and comment your console. Once you do those things, you're to win. Guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to check out my NFL prediction bracket, which I did drop earlier this morning. But guys, just to update you, as I said earlier, tomorrow is the last day of the 25 days of food miss. The best rewards were on Christmas Day and Christmas even the day after Christmas. Those guys I have been in contact with. And guys, if you haven't gotten your rewards yet, I am in contact with all you guys. It's just with all the busy scheduling. Sometimes I, after I'm done with my videos, I gotta leave. I don't come back home. I can use the Madden app, but I don't have my password. I don't. I can never sign into uh, Origin, so I gotta be home for that. But keep contact with me. Don't forget. I have not forgotten about any of you guys. And um, pretty much wraps it up. The last day of giveaways are these last two days, so that should be last the last two things for the year. And hopefully we can have some kind of giveaway thing within the next few months of Madden. That could be pretty fun for us. This was really fun, guys. 
hope we can do this again next year and tomorrow's last day so make sure to check that out and if you want to enter for today's check out all the videos and the uh predictions as well that's about it so check out the power pass video today the 95 overall power pass video is dropping later today that should be very helpful so stay tuned for that go check that out go show some support in that and that's about it thank you guys for watching i should have three other videos up for you guys today so make sure to check those out as well but that's about it thank you guys so much for watching i'm out see you guys in the next video peace